Hi guys, how are you? Um, this is classwork, excuse me, class lecture number three, and there will be a classwork number three assignment associated with it. It is Friday, um, March 20th, and this classwork, uh, which is basically five short questions that'll count as 10 points, must be submitted by midnight tonight to count as your attendance. Okay, before we begin, I wanted to address some of the things that I saw in that initial homework assignment and just clear up. Um, it looks like many of you have a good understanding that work is God's gift to us, that it gives us an opportunity to co-create with God. Um, work when done well is supposed to have the opportunity to help sanctify you, or which is a fancy way of saying to help make you holy, to help grow uh, closer to God. You um, theologically, that kind of all comes from Genesis and the fact that we're all made in the image and likeness of God and have a special dignity. And we were called in the garden to work and help take care of the garden. Um, and today work gives us that opportunity and we have to respect each worker and their unique digni dignity because they're made in the image and likeness of God. It looks like based on your responses, most of you have that basic knowledge. Where I see a breakdown is in the practicality of it. Those of you, um, were, who kind of were asked to share the kind of work you do and if it builds your relationship with God. Some of you were able to do it if your work was kind of more naturally altruistic. So some people say, well, I volunteer, so that counts. Or um, I work as a lifeguard, so I'm helping to save people, so that counts. But when it came to more menial work, uh, the tediousness of schoolwork, or uh, I'm a waiter, or I do construction on my part-time, or I'm helping my friends start a computer company. Some of you guys shared those and said, well, they don't really help um, sanctify me or build my relationship. And what I'm gonna say is what our faith teaches us is any activity, any activity, schoolwork, waitering, washing dishes, if done correctly, can be offered up as a prayer to God and could be a means of, building up the kingdom of God and sanctifying you. How do you do this? It's first of all, it's the, it's the intention that you have and the way you execute it. So if intentionally before you start the activity, whatever it is, maybe you're sitting down to take notes for this video. If you pause and you say a small prayer and you say, Lord, for the next, for the, for the duration of the time that I work on this task, I offer it up to be united with the cross of Christ. Right there, you make your work, you turn your work into a prayer. And then when it's time to execute that prayer, as long as that work rather, as long as anything you do is not sinful, and as long as you do it to the best of your God-given abilities, then that work becomes an opportunity to build up to the kingdom of God and to make you holy. Because you're using your God-given talents and you're offering up those talents in that present moment as, as an offering to the Lord. I'll give you one more tangible example and then we'll begin. We don't have to take notes on a lot of slides, but I, this is so important that you get this. I have a good friend. The other thing I saw, yes, the Catholic, is that many of you think you can't be in a position where you make money and, and that position can't also sanctify you. So yes, the Catholic Church is clearly against greediness, which you saw in the journal that you wrote. And you do have to be careful because the more money you make, the easier it is to fall into greed. But let's look at blessed Edmund Rice, who was the founder of the Christian brothers that are behind our school. He was a businessman. He was a financially successful businessman. Nothing, the, the Bible does not say you, that money is inherently evil or that jobs where you make large amounts of money are evil. It's how you handle the money you make and where you place the money. So if you start a job and the, your sole reason for doing it is I want to make a lot of money, then you really do run the risk of falling into greed and funding to, to sin. If you put first and foremost, say the job that I'm going to do, I want to use it as a way to help make the world a better place, to help be the best version of myself, to use this job to build up the kingdom of God and connect to the Lord, then you could turn around and do something that makes gazillions of dollars. But if you keep that firmly grounded and you don't get attached and greedy to it, then you're fine. I have a friend who's a financial planner. He does very well for himself. 
he didn't become a, in the beginning of his career. He said to me, Jen, it used to be all about making money. And I did that. And I was miserable. He, well, he goes, initially I was really happy, but then he hit a point where he just didn't get anything out of it. He stayed in the same job, but he shifted his perspective. And he said to myself, it became all about the client and I want to help do the best job that I can. So these people have, or have investments that support them and their families for the rest of their lives. And he started to do that and he put the relationship first and he always goes the extra mile and he reaches out to his clients. And then he also started in addition to that, before he meets with a client, he says a prayer and he asks the Holy Spirit to help guide it and get so to help offer guidance. And as a result, at the end of the interaction, that work becomes a prayer. So I hope this clears it up. I know I spent a little bit of time on this, but it's really important. So let's get into today's slides.